Tadi ya mana mana. Yo, cute ah. Hi, welcome back to my Sustagen. In this video, I will show you how I extend the lifespan of the backpack. This will be a shorter version of the original video. I got this bag from a pre-love group for my condominium security guard. By the second time he came to me to fix this bag, so I thought why not I give this bag a more thorough modification to make it last longer. Overall, the issue of this backpack is the sewing is done too close to the edge and the fabric is of loose mesh, so the thread will unravel due to weight. To solve this problem, I will apply PVA or white glue to the edges of the back and let it dry before I stitch on the additional pieces. If you know you are getting a cheap or economic bag with average quality, it is better to do the enforcement before you start using the bag. Since this is a multi-layer plastic product, it will get brittle and degrade over time. Production-wise, I will do it at home and it will be nothing like this. This is a school bag made to last and good for your children's spine. Randosero is a 100-year product by Seban. With its meticulous production, the bag is priced from 30,000 to 50,000 yen, which is equivalent to 1,000 to 1,008 ringgit Malaysia. Seban. Seban. I'm doing this really quick in between of my schedule, so I have no measurement to show you as I plan everything roughly. It took me almost 8 hours to finish this, including filming, excluding the editing. So I'm putting this at a really high speed. As you can see here, I'm removing the stitches done previously to keep the parts clean for new addition. I'm going to use what I have at home to make the backing and the pockets. To address the issue here, I will replace the buckle and strap of a better quality. Since the existing compartment is not suitable for the guard, so I will remove it. As you can see here, the straps are too short and weight will cause it to pull away from the back. So I will extend it using jeans cloth. To prevent more waste, I will sew these jeans and slot in the original strap. For the backing, I will use this banner on the inside and the grey cloth on the outside. This banner will act as waterproof sheet to keep the contents from getting wet. It will add some weight to the backpack so it is up to your preference. You can also use woven canvas for it. Everything is done by estimation so I just cut the liner slightly larger than the original shape. Once done, it will look like this. For the pockets, I added a liner each. I'm sure there are many better ways to make a pocket, but this is the fastest way I can do. To make it three-dimensional, I put the vertices together and sew over. Then I cut off the excess and seal the edges using cross sewing. This is an additional organizer for Mr. Vegas to store his tweezers, nail clippers and some coins. Everything is done free-handedly here. I couldn't find a wider elastic band, so I just double up what I have here. I will do the sewing whenever I can, and the rest will be done by hand stitching. I enjoyed sewing because it's challenging and fun at the same time. You will need some strategies and plannings to execute the project. Initially, I decided to take up sewing to solve problems like event carpets being thrown away after just one use. So we sew it into fabric bags for potting. 
But after researching for one year, the fabric started to disintegrate, so we fused it with banner. I am still a beginner at sewing, so there's still a lot for me to learn, especially to make pocket. It will need a lot of techniques to make a proper one and to sew it easily. As you can see, I'm actually struggling to <laughs> sew it properly and carefully without snapping the needle. I have just one simple goal which is to get everyone to appreciate the things they have and learn how to maintain their belongings. Try to mend or repair when it's broken instead of throwing it away. I'm not in the position to empower any communities or to make a living out of this. I just want to revive the art of repairing or mending by our forefathers. For the stitching, I used several techniques as you can see here. At this stage, the PVA glue applied has already dried up. When I do the stitching, I try my best to do it further from the edges and to hide the stitching except for this part. For this part, I can actually add webbing tape or fabric, but I'm already rushing at the moment to pass it to the guard. For this bone stitching, I did a dead knot for every three stitchings. Hi. And this is my supervisor. Hello. If you want to know what happens next, Hello. stay tuned for my next video. After the bone stitching, this is the hidden stitching. This part of the stitching is very close to shoe repair, so I can tell you that it is a very tough job. And please appreciate your cobbler and don't complain of the price he charges you. I'm leaving all the stitchings exposed to remind the guard to take good care of this backpack. After adding two layers of liner, it is actually very difficult for the needle to penetrate. So I'm actually struggling at every stitch. So the cobbler's job is definitely tougher since the sole is so thick. Earlier, I have applied glue on the inside and for this part, I will apply it now and stitch it instantly. If next time this part comes off, just replace with bigger piece of fabric. Let's proceed to the last part of the repair. I didn't remove the existing webbing tape, so I'm going to stitch it back. When doing this kind of stitch, add more dead knots in between so that you can have more support points just in case one of the points come off. You can use same color thread for this. But I'm worried I can't see, so I'm using white color for better visibility. Kalau rosak saya bagi lagi ya. Buka buka. Oh bagi ini saya bagi. Oh ini ya. Buka buka dalam. Thank you thank you. Oh. Thank you. Thank you ah. Tadi yang mana mana. Yo, cute ah. <laughs>